If you're looking for the highest interest paying accounts for your savings, then this February 2023 update on the best savings accounts is for you. I will take you through some news and some updates first of all, and then towards the end, I'll take you through my picks of the highest paying accounts right now for your money. Worth saying about this, I say this every single month that I do this update, things change, they change on a regular basis, on a daily basis sometimes. So watch this, find out what the accounts are opening up, what's been going on, what changes are happening, but also head over to becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash savings. That's where on a daily basis, I am updating the best buy tables. And there may be some accounts that I don't mention today that are listed there. This is all about giving you the update, the new things that have been going on. And the first thing to tell you about is that this week on the 2nd of February, there will be another Bank of England meeting to look at the base rate, the base interest rate. And at the moment, the kind of speculation is that there will be another half a percentage point increase, bringing it up from 3.5% to 4%. Now, this will have a knock-on effect on some of the accounts. Uh, so again, I will give you an update video on Thursday taking you through what is announced, if it's that high, if there's any change at all. Uh, and then obviously I'll give you further updates as the month goes on here on the channel and on the blog if any more accounts do respond to that. But certainly we have already seen some easy access, limited access and notice accounts anticipating this increase. So this is the first thing to tell you about some of the, uh, and I'll quickly get this on the screen just to give you an idea. This is from over the Best Buy accounts over on the blog. Some big changes coming along. Chip will be offering 3.04% from the 11th of February. You wouldn't be surprised to see if that increases to a higher rate itself uh, after the base rate announcement. But at the moment, that's what they've said. I will come back to Chip in a minute because if you watch these videos regularly, I spoke about their instant access account and some issues I had with that. They're changing, so I'll come back to that in a moment. There's also a current account. It's a relatively new digital current account called Crew. Again, I'm gonna do a video review of this, hopefully this week, but it might be pushed into next week, depending on how things go. This is from the 1st of February, so just a few days time when recording this, we'll offer you 3.03%. And these are easy access accounts with, you know, uh, crew it's 85,000 is your limit, which is more than enough with chip 250,000. So they are gonna be, uh, right now they are top of the table. And I think they want to stay there if they can. Uh, we've seen a number of other increases. You can see here, uh, Shawbrook's gone up to 2.92, Synergy to 2.9. A few others have increased there. Uh, I want to point out just a, to a little extra, we'll mention about is from Tandem. They have also increased their accounts to 2.75%. If you are an existing customer and you're happy with that higher rate, you don't want to move your money to get one of the rates around 3% or whatever it might be, you're actually going to have to manually add that in. So make sure you log into your app and follow the instructions to do that. I have seen some reports in my Facebook group that people had to delete the app and then reinstall it to get it work. That might have been fixed by now, but that increase isn't going to happen straight away. So do have a look at that. Also some movement on limited access accounts. Yorkshire Beyond Society now pays 3.25% on up to the first £5,000 you have saved uh, with them. After that is 2.85%. There are a maximum of two withdrawals a year with this account. So it's a limited access account, but you can get you know, 3.25%, which is pretty decent. And Sainsbury's Bank, they offer 2.29%, a maximum of three withdrawals a year. So they're amongst the top easy access and limited access accounts right now. Another increase to let you know about a notice account from Hinkley and Rugby Building Society, 3.6% with 120 days notice. So that is better than a lot of the other accounts out there. As I said, if you want the full Best Buy tables with more accounts, some of them around that rate, uh, head to be cleveryourcash.com forward slash savings. Now, if you saw my update, the best accounts for 2023 that I did at the start of January, you'll notice I talked about an account there from Coventry Building Society. And if you follow me and you subscribe to my newsletter, you might have seen another kind of account from Yorkshire Building Society with rates around 3.25%, 3.35% on limited access accounts. So they would have put those rates at the top of the table. You notice if you look at the tables, they're no longer there. And this is something really interesting I want to share with you. So they announced in advance that their rates were going to go up in the new year. On those days that the rates did go up, those same accounts were pulled for new customers. So you might be thinking, great, on that day, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna open this account, I'm gonna get whatever the rate is out there, which would have been top of the table at the time. You wouldn't have been able to get it. In their place were some new accounts offering a slightly lower rate. Still pretty decent in comparison to other ones, but not those much, much higher ones that I told you about. Uh, they happened for existing customers. So I think the kind of the lesson to take from here is if there is a savings update that is announced, an increase that's gonna happen in a week or two weeks, particularly with the bill and societies, it may be worth opening that account before that happens rather than waiting for it to come along. So at least you've got it there and then guarantee you'll get that rate 
uh, when it does go up. Because so that was an interesting thing. Everyone was looking forward to it. And so everyone, people were looking forward to it. And suddenly you couldn't get those rates. So it's worth bearing that in mind. Now that's our easy access and limited access and notice accounts. We'll talk about fixes. Same story as I mentioned in the last couple of updates. They are on the decline. They are falling, falling, falling. And this is, as I've said before, linked into the fact that the base rate prediction, although we are still at the top, we are expecting another increase this month and maybe another one or another two throughout uh, the rest of spring and summer. We're expecting to peak at a far, far lower rate than we were back in October when interest rates were predicted to go up to 6%. And that's when we saw a lot of those really high uh, fixes. They are on their way down. So again, I've said this before, but if you are able to fix your money and you're happy to fix your money, it's unlikely, not impossible. Sometimes a bank might come out of nowhere with a, a rate and bring it in and it lasts for a few weeks and disappear. But if you are happy to fix, you want to fix, those rates I think are going to keep going down even if we see a base rate increases. So again, they are going one year, two year and so on are declining. Speaking of that though, there is a slightly different one worth telling you about. This is a fixed cash ISA. And this is from Virgin Money. You can only get this if you are a Virgin Money customer. You have to have their current account. The M plus current account is the one there, which I'm sure a lot of you have got because previously it did offer a decent rate of savings. They are offering this one year fix paying 4.25%. So that actually makes it the highest paying one year fix right now in or outside of an ISA. If you do not have any investments, so to speak, so you're not using stocks and shares or lifetime ISA or anything like that, you can put up to £20,000 into this Virgin ISA and lock it away for 12 months. Of course, uh, you don't have to pay tax on it, but that doesn't matter because it is a highest paying rate right now out there. So it's definitely one to look at, but you can only pay into one ISA in a financial year. So if you have contributed to a cash ISA since April the 6th last year, then you are going to struggle with this one. However, transfers in are allowed. So that might be your way around it. Remember, it is a locked account, a fixed account. You can't get that money for 12 months. Incidentally, while we're on the subject of fixed rate accounts, Starling has entered the savings market, is now offering a one-year fix paying 3.25%. That's nowhere near the top of the table. You can get better elsewhere, but it's an interesting one to keep an eye on and know that they are doing this. Who knows, they may well come back with some really competitive rates in the future. Uh, but again, I wouldn't go for it right now, but it's one to keep an eye on. I'll give you any updates if their rates do improve. A few more rate increases to share with you. Again, not necessarily top of the table, but they might be of interest. And this is around regular savers, first of all. TSB has just announced that its regular saver is going up to 5%. It was around 3.5%, I think, before that. The most you can put in there is 250 quid uh, every single month. Obviously, like regular savers, I've got a whole video taking you through them. I know people do get confused, a bit unsure about why they don't think they're getting the headline rate. They work a little bit different. So check out that video explaining how regular savers do work. Uh, but yeah, 5% with TSB. Not the best one out there, but not too bad. If you have a current account with TSB, that is essential. A couple more increases to tell you about as well, which probably aren't that exciting, but it's worth knowing about. One of them is around premium bonds. I did a whole video looking at this just last week. So do watch that one if you're interested. The prize rate from the February draw will be 3.15%, up from 3%. It's the second increase we've had in two months to premium bonds. 3.15% sounds fantastic but it's a prize rate, not an interest rate. So you will very, very unlikely you will get that back. There's a chance you'll get a higher rate, but more likely you'll get a lower rate. And as we've already shown, there are better paying guaranteed accounts offering around 3% that might be a better option for you. But again, check out that video with more details on that. And the other one to tell you about is around Lloyd's Bank. The Club Lloyd's current account, I'm a big fan of it for the freebies you get with it, the bank switching bonuses. There's one going on right now for some linked Club Lloyd's account. You have to watch a video I did to get all the details on that. But it's a great account for those things. You also get access to a 5.25% paying regular saver, which again, is a really good benefit. But one of the things that's not been great about this account for a while is the in-account interest. You only get it if you have two direct debits coming out of the account, but it's been paying a pretty low pay, 0.6% on the first £4,000 saved and 1.5% on the uh, money between £4,000 and £5,000. So they are low rates. You can beat them very, very easily elsewhere. You should not be using a Club Lloyd's account for your savings. The actual actual account itself, not the regular saver, the actual account. Well, from the 1st of April, they're gonna lift those rates. When I saw this, I thought, this is exciting. This is great because it used to be really competitive. It used to be one of the best ones out there. Sadly, the new rates are pretty disappointing as well. That first chunk, so from £1 to £3,099, that will be at 1.5%, easily beaten in a huge number of accounts out there. And the next one from 4,000 to 5,000 pounds, that will be at 3%. Again, equaled or beaten by other accounts. And in fact, 
if you did put five thousand pounds in there the most you can get to earn interest the average rate is actually going to work out at 1.8 percent i think yeah 1.8 percent again easily beaten so i would not be bothering with this even when the increase comes into play the other bits of it they are absolutely fantastic and the last bit of news before I get into my top picks for this month is around chip. I said I'd come back to this right at the top when I mentioned that it's going to be paying a 3.04% rate from the 11th of February. So if you saw my previous update where I said I had issues with this account, the way it worked is because it used to be, or still is until the 11th of February, that rather than get interest, you would get a bonus. Now this bonus wouldn't compound. So what it meant was you wouldn't earn any of the bonus on the bonus. It also wasn't protected by the financial services compensation scheme, just the bonus part. The deposit was, but not the bonus. And also to access that bonus, if you wanted to get it out, maybe to put it into account where it could earn interest or would be protected by the financial services compensation scheme, you had to withdraw your entire balance before the bonus. That was the last thing to come out of the account. And if you wanted to keep saving it, you had to put all your money back in and there were delays in days and things. So although it was paying the top rate, and in fact, it still is at the end of January, the highest paying rate at 3% on this old style. When it changes on the 11th of February, all that stuff is going to go. It's going to be a normal savings account. So you can be confident that if you are going to be using CHIP for your savings, again, that 3.04% is currently the top easy access rate out there. At least it will be from the 11th of February. Things can change the next 10 days. So I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on that. But then you're not going to have any of those problems. Obviously, if you have money in there now, there's going to be a weird crossover element. So any bonus that you get for money up to the 11th of February, that will operate in the same way. So you want to get that, you'll have to take all your money out to put it back in. So if you don't have the account yet, I would maybe wait until that change happens on the 11th of February. If you do have that account, just bear in mind that any extra bonus you get, you're going to have to sort of do the old trick, mess it around to make sure that it does compound, that it is protected in there. So that's the news, the updates. Let's wrap up with the best paying savings accounts for February 2023. And I go over to the blog. Remember, becleveryourcash.com forward slash savings. You'll find information about these and other accounts. Let's look first of all at the best places to put up to £5,000. A lot of you won't have anything near that amount. Uh, but again, you want this money, your first amount of cash you have to an easy access. You can get it out whenever you want. The highest paying account for a nice lump sum up to 5K is the Barclays Blue Rewards Rainy Day Saver. I talked about this in my best savings accounts for 2023 video last month. So it goes into a bit more detail there. But effectively, this is a current account you have to open and then add on the blue rewards and then open up the rainy day saver. You will have to jump through some hoops, uh, pay a five pound fee, but you'll get that back as a reward if you have two direct debits coming out of the account and you pay 800 pounds every month. Sounds complicated, it's not. Once you've set it up, it's absolutely fine. That is the highest paying account. So if you just want to earn the most amount of money on a lump sum, that is where you go. After that, the next highest paying account, and this does get a little bit more complicated, so it might you might want to st skip to the next step if this isn't for you. Uh, this is around opening a Santander Edge current account and then opening up a Santander Edge savings account. Now, I'm assuming that you don't already have a Santander 123 Lite account, which is the best cashback paying account out there, sadly close to new customers, um, and you are paying the bills. Because if you are paying bills, council tax, broadband, mobile, things like that, then that fee that you pay, the three pound monthly fee that comes with this account will be cleared by the cashback. You'll be covered by that. So you will be earning 4% on it. So that's the next possible rate on balances up to 4,000 pounds. Now, if you're in a couple, you can open up an additional one of these as a joint account. So potentially that's three accounts between you, but let's assume here just two accounts. And with that one, you will have to cover the fee because obviously cashback only comes out of one account. So that will give you up to 3.55%, but you want to be having a larger amounts in there to get towards that, unless you have in there. So really this is about, you want about 3,600 in that one as well. So five grand in Barclays, four grand in a Santander Edge. And if you want a second one of those, then you want to have at least 3,600 in that. So we're talking about a large amount of money here. You know, potentially up to 17K. Again, appreciate slightly more complicated step, but if you do want the highest rate, that is where you would go. If you have more than that, or you just want to keep things a little bit uh, easy, a bit more simple, then uh, these are the highest paying ones. There is that Virgin Money ISA I mentioned before, 4.25%. This is fixed for a year though. So if you think you'll need to get the money, this isn't the one for you. There is a 4% ISA from Barclays, which is fixed for a year, but has limited access. So you could get some money out of that. That might be a better option for you. Again, both of them paying pretty decent rates. 
If you just want pure easy access though, it's the accounts I mentioned at the top. Chip 3.04% from the 11th of February and Crew paying 3.03% from the 1st of February. They are the highest paying ones right now. I would anticipate we'll see a bit more movement when the base rate happens for a few more ones hitting around that mark over the next few weeks, but this is where we are right now. If you do not want an app-only bank, which they both are, then look at Yorkshire Beyond Society. Also a pretty decent ethical option. You can get 2.9% on up to £50,000. If you have more money in there, the rate does increase. But again, that's pretty competitive and a great place for larger sums beyond those smaller accounts I've mentioned just now, which do have those limitations. And finally, let's just talk about the best places for ongoing savings. These are your regular savings accounts. These are generally the highest paying ones out there, but you can only put a certain amount of money in every single month. Top of the tree here is First Direct. You get 7%. Uh, you can put up to £300 a month in there. After that, the Club Lloyd's regular saver. I mentioned that before. Up to £400 in that one, which is pretty good. So the most you can get into these higher rates at 5.25%. Again, both those accounts do require a regular, a current account uh, to access them. After this, maybe the NatWest or, and or actually you can get both, uh, digital regular savers pay 5.12% only up to 150 quid every single month. But what's interesting about these ones, what's good about these ones, is after 12 months, they don't stop. You will carry on earning that rate and keep putting money in up to 5,000 pounds. So in the short term, in that first year, you won't earn as much, but they're good for longer term, for a couple of years, keeping putting that money in and earning a higher rate. As I said, remember, I will I'll talk about it again. Be clever your cash.com forward slash savings. That is the place to go to have more information and the links to these savings accounts plus any new ones that come along. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Please do check out these videos right here for more ways to get the most from your savings and make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next update on savings.